when we divide fractions, we use the fact that dividing is the opposite of multiplying. So dividing by two fifths is the same as timesing by five over two. So dividing by a half is the same as timesing by two over one. So what we do is we change it to a multiplier problem. So we times and we changed it, we flipped this one over. So dividing by two fifths, dividing by two fifths is the same as timesing by five over two. Um, you can check that on a calculator. Um, it is, it does work. So what we do, some people call it stick. So the first one stays the same. Um, twist. I guess the divide sign twisted over looks slightly like a time sign and flip. So stick, twist, flip. Um, stick, the first one stays the same. Twist, divide changes to times and flip. Um, however you remember it, um, you have to change it to a times and flip over the second one. So then we just do the timesing fractions, which is multiply the top, multiply the bottom. So one times five is five. Four times two is eight. And five eighths is the final answer. Okay, so this is a mixed number problem. So first thing we've got to do is change them to top heavy. So I've got three whole ones and they're in fifths. So that's 15, 15 parts there, plus another two, so 17 fifths divided by one whole one, that's in thirds, so it's three plus two, five thirds. So I've got to change it to a times now. So 17 over five, and that's dividing by five over three, it's the same as timesing by three over five. Stick, twist, flip. So 17 times three is 51, and five times five is 25. They're not in the same times table, so I can't simplify it. I could change it to a, um, a mixed number again. I've got two whole ones, so two whole 25s, which go into there. That makes 50, so I've got one left. Okay, here's some questions. Give them a go. Um, so, all right, stick, twist, flip. So just follow the process of changing them to a times and flipping over the second one. Okay, give them a go. I'll put the answer up in a minute. Okay, the first one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to a times. So half times and flip over the second one. 11 over one. So one 11 is 11, two ones are two. Um, I could leave it like that, or I could change it to two goes into 11 five times. And I've got one half left over, five and a half. Say so same again, two fifths. It's the same as two fifths times four, four over one. Um, two fours are eight, five ones are five. Um, again, I could change it to a mixed number if I want. That's fine, that, that was fine as an answer, but the same as one whole one and three fifths. Three quarters times two thirds, two threes are six, four threes are 12. Um, they're both in the six times table, one six and two six, that's same as a half. And finally here, I've got to change it to a mixed, I mean a top heavy first. Three times four is 12, plus three is 15. Two threes are six, plus number two is eight. Now, I'm going to change it to a times. Let's do that, but I'll flip over the second one. 15 times 3 is 45. 4 eighths, 32. Um, they're not in the same times table, so I can leave it at that. I'll change it to a mixed number though, so I've got one whole one, and I've got 13 left. So one whole one and 13 out of 32.